Hi, this is Nick from PrimeLoops.com. I thought it might be fun to show you how to do a really simple but effective technique using the gate device in Ableton Live. The effect I'm talking about is to rhythmically modulate a held down synthesizer tone. Let me play you back this simple drum beat and synth note that I have already. So this is a pretty plain and unexciting sounding arrangement, but there's a way that you can spice this up that's really easy to do, and that's using the gate device. Ideally, I'd like this synthesizer tone to follow the rhythm of the drum beat. So if I drag a gate device onto my synth track, you're presented with a very basic interface here. Now what I want the gate device to do for me is turn down the volume of the synthesizer track very rapidly on and off while keeping rhythm with the drum beat. And that's very simple to do using the side chaining feature on the gate device. If I just click on this little triangle down here, you're presented with a side chain view. First turn on side chaining by enabling this green button, and then pull audio from your drums track. Next, bring your attack all the way down to 0.02 milliseconds, which is the lowest it will go. And then bring your hold time down to 3.19 milliseconds. Now bring your release up just a little bit to about 6.08 milliseconds, and here's what the result sounds like. So that's a dead simple way to make your synth lines a little more exciting by rhythmically modulating them according to a drum track. Also realize that you can tweak the effect of how long the note is held when the gate is triggered. The main parameter that you're going to want to look at is the hold parameter. That determines how long the note is held after the gate is triggered. If you turn hold up, the synth tone will sound for a little bit longer. And this radically changes the feel of the rhythmic modulation. Listen to what I mean. So now you can combine the side chaining on the gate device along with the hold parameter to achieve some really interesting rhythmic modulations with very little effort. I'll see you next time for more audio production tips and tricks. Stay creative!